playing today. I'm using a Nikon D5100 with an 18 to 200 millimeter lens, along with a Canon Rebel XSI with a 28 to 80 millimeter lens. I'm basically using both cameras just to show you the difference. Um, we set both cameras at ISO 100 with a shutter speed of 125 and an aperture of 11. Why all those numbers? Well, the lights all sync between 1 60th of a second and 1 125th of a second. So we're using the highest speed, that way we don't get any blur or motion in the photo. Along with the f-stop, because it, you want to make sure that you have everything in focus. And then the ISO is to keep the noise low. So we're going to go ahead and do a couple shots, and then we'll compare the shots. So you want to adjust your shutter speed to 1 25th of a second, uh, an f-stop of f11, and an ISO of 100. And same with the Canon, 125, f11, oh, as I mess up, f11, and ISO 100. And there we go. So now with our mono lights, this is obviously your on off switch. You turn it on for power. This is your modeling light switch. You turn that on and your modeling light comes on. That is so that you know where you're shooting. And then that is your test button. And this is to adjust how much lighting comes into your shutter at any one time. And this is a background light. You basically just turn it on because that's all it does. There's one light and it's one power. So for the product shoot, we've actually used a snoot and that just goes on to your modeling light and it directs the light. And this is our setup for the product shoot. You have two soft boxes and your spotlight with the snoot on it. Make sure you aim your snoot directly at the label and turn off the modeling light. So when we do studio lights, well actually first, if you are using a snoot you want to make sure to turn the modeling light off after you've aimed the modeling light, just because the snoot will actually heat up. Um, and then another thing is we are going to go ahead and turn the roof lights off, that way we don't get any stray lighting. So, um, again, we're using the Nikon D5100 first. Um, we've set up the strobes that have appeared beyond. There it is. And you want to try to be in a range of about 80 millimeters. And then make sure that you focus onto the label. And make sure that everything is even. So this is our basic modeling setup. The first light has a softbox, the second has an umbrella, and the third has another softbox, and that's just to keep everything evenly lit.
thanks for watching our video. We'll probably be posting another one next week. Again, these are just my techniques, and I really hope that you learn something.